Welcome back to my psychic series on psychic abilities. Um, so, what I'm going to be talking about with you tonight is basically telepathy. Alright, so telepathy can be defined as mind-to-mind -mind communication. So that's basically, you know, you know, a you know mental telepathy. It's it's basically you know conversation between the mind or on the mental plane. So for me, I you know, for me when it comes to telepathy, it just kind of appeared one day like you know yeah I've done the energy work like I was talking about on clairvoyance and you know the meditation and you know iodine pure foods um, you know making sure your body is pure and as holy as possible holy meaning pure um, but uh, pretty much people that don't even do this type of work I've noticed that they have telepathy and I'll give you an example and I'm sure most of you can relate that you know will watch this video or come across it um, basically getting a text or thinking of someone then receiving a, te a text message anywhere from you know two seconds to five minutes later uh, or thinking of someone and then their name appearing like on um, you know on a computer screen or you know the phone glitches you know and their profile picture pops up or you know like on Facebook or something <clears throat> so, you know, there's there's different types of telepathy. You have mental telepathy, but you also, you know, you can also uh, basically send images, like you know, kind of like with clairvoyance uh, telepathy that way, where it's um, where you're sending mental, you know, like uh, like a you know inner eye or third eye telepathy, where you're sending images to that person. I had a girlfriend one time that I was doing that, and um, you know, we would sit there and play a game, and she lived, you know, a few states over. And uh, I would sit there and, you know, ask her to tune into my thoughts or what I was basically, you know, and she would tune in basically with her third eye and she would, you know, be able to tell me what color, like she'd never been to my house, so she'd be able to tell her, tell me what color my paint was on my wall or what I'm holding in my hand. And the thing about that is too with telepathy is, <clears throat> and any type of psychic ability is always trust basically the first thing you get. Usually the first thing you get if you decide to play a game like that, it's kind of like I spy except you're, uh, you know, it's at a distance. And, and you don't know, you know, you're still guessing, you know. So you call it psychic Ospa if you want. Um, but I remember, like, you know, she had a lighter in her hand or whatever, it wouldn't be. She had a lighter in her hand, and I remember seeing and, like, you know, hearing, which would be clear audience, but um, it was more of a, you know, it was still mentally. So you would, you know, it, it would all work through the, the head area. And I remember like guessing the wrong thing because I didn't trust the first thing I get. And that's the thing when it comes to, like when it comes to vibration and, you know, higher and lower, and I've talked about this before and I might actually do a full, you know, better video on that, more information. But uh, because your abilities has everything to do with a higher vibration, most of the time like a psychic ability, it will come to you fast and so that's really you know you can say higher and lower if you want to you know look at it that way but that really refers to as density like higher density lower density but really it's faster and slower that's how vibration really is you know it, nothing rest everything vibrates but it's more of a you know the faster your speed the faster things will come to you and so that's how you know when when you're at a faster vibration because you'll start having psychic abilities. And sometimes it can be, and then sometimes it'll be slow. You'll get the stuff slow, like, you know, in recent times I would get, you know, I'm still at a faster vibration, but it'll be longer for a longer period of time. It'll be like, you know, instead of getting information five to 10 seconds before it happens, like an example of that would be, and I should have said it in a, a clairvoyant video, but uh, going over top, you know, get, getting ready to, you know, go over a hill, and seeing something, five, you know, seeing a car coming at you five to ten seconds before it actually happens. Now, that's great as far as like an ability to have to, you know, to keep you out of danger or make you aware of stuff. But I, me personally, I would rather see that, you know, five to ten minutes beforehand so that I know it's coming. But that's what I was talking about in the last video is that everything basically is happening in the present moment. So, really, the past and, you know, future is just perspectives it's just like past is memory and the, and the future is just a potential possibility of something that can happen uh, depending on the current you know the current vibration
vibration that you're on or current frequency. So, uh, and then like I said, you know, here in, in uh, recent times, it, it's expanded, you know, especially if I'm doing a lot of meditation, a lot of energy work, and instead of five to 10 seconds, it's, you know, two to five minutes. And sometimes, I don't know if I've ever reached the 10, you know, 10 minute mark. I mean, I think we all kind of have that sometimes we'll know something's coming and it won't come to like three days later. And when it comes to telepathic information, it's a little bit different, you know, and, and that's basically what it is. It's, it's, you know, when you, as I was saying before, it's more just basically information coming to you. Now, that can be, you know, they always said something like, uh, you know, your ears are ringing, someone's talking about you. That can be, you know, that's an example of clear audience, but that can also be the same thing. Somebody's talking about you or solar flares or whatever else. Uh, but telepathy is. But, you know, you should try it out. It's something you can practice, and it, and it doesn't have to be, it's not, to me, it doesn't need so much, so many guidelines as clairvoyance does because you can sit there and practice that with someone and people are going to know that you're for real because you're practicing with somebody. But when you have, you know, like I said in the other video, clairvoyance, you start telling people you're seeing stuff like ghosts or spirits or whatever, they're going to think you're crazy because the you know, normal, you know, the majority of the population, you know, I would I would even go as far as saying 90 percent, 85 to 90 percent of the population, does, you know, if they have those abilities, they don't know a whole lot about them. Um, it's probably less than you know, 85 to 90, but it, it may be more. You know, it's just it's just what I'm throwing out there at this time. But um, when it comes to telepathy, though, it's just something that happens, and most people, you know, within. Ten people that you've talked to has probably experienced some form of telepathy, as opposed to the you know clear seeing, where they probably haven't, you know, or they will start to look at you weird. And when you're when you're opening yourself up and being vulnerable in a situation like that and talking about these abilities with someone, it's easier to start out with something that people are going to relate to, as opposed to something that you know people are going to you know call people to come and get you and put you in a straight jacket, you know what I'm saying? So it's just one of those things. Depending, you know, just, you'll know who you can talk about stuff like that with and who you can't, you know. But anyway, that's what I have for you basically on telepathy. Uh, it, like I said, it seems to be something that just kind of comes about, you know, yeah, energy work, meditation, all that stuff does make it stronger. But it seems like to me that everybody is having that. Like, you know, the majority of people that I've come across, people can relate to that. So. This is Metaphysics, and that's been my perspective on telepathy. Thank you for watching.